Walden's drums macroglobulinemia is characterized by lymphoplasmacytic lymphoma infiltration of the bone marrow and often other lymphatic organs, as well as increases in circulating monoclonal immunoglobulin M. This disease is treated most often with rituximab as a monotherapy or in combination with alkylating agents or nucleoside analogues. Novel therapies including proteasome inhibitors, thalidomide and everolimus have also shown activity, but mainly in combination with rituximab. However, none of these options is curative and standard of care has not been established. Because rituximab combinations are widely used for Waldenstrom's macroglobulinemia, effective treatment options are necessary for patients who become rituximab refractory or intolerant. A somatic mutation in the MYD88 gene is present in more than 90% of patients with Waldenstrom's macroglobulinemia. The resulting mutated protein signal through IRAK1 and Bruton's tyrosine kinase BTK, leading to constitutive activation of the nuclear factor kappa B pathway, regulating anti-apoptotic genes. Ibrutinib, a first in-class inhibitor of BTK, attenuates the MYD88 BTK interaction, thus inhibiting BTK-dependent signaling and inducing cellular apoptosis. The intent of this study was to assess the safety and efficiency of ibrutinib in patients with Waldenstrom's macroglobulinemia refectory to their last rituximab-containing therapy. We present a multi-center open-label substudy done at 19 sites in 7 countries. Between August 18, 2014 and February 18, 2015, 31 patients with rituximab refectory were enrolled. The median age was 67 years and 13 patients had high-risk disease per the International Prognostic Scoring System Waldenstrom Macroglobulinemia. At a median follow-up of 18.1 months, 90% of patients achieved an overall response and 71% had a major response. The estimated 18-month progression-free survival rate was 86% and the estimated 18-month overall survival rate was 97%. Baseline median hemoglobin of 10.3 grams per deciliter increased to 11.4 grams per deciliter after four weeks of ibrutinib treatment and reached 12.7 grams per deciliter at week 49. Our findings showed robust responses and an acceptable safety profile of single agent ibrutinib in patients with rituximab refractory Waldenstrom's macroglobulinemia, thus indicating that this chemotherapy-free approach is a potential new treatment choice for this difficult-to-treat patient population.